Hey everyone, welcome back to our tip series. Today we'll be covering advanced tips, which will be a continuation from our last video on the basic tips. If you missed part one, be sure to check that out as today's techniques will be building on the foundations that you've learned in that video. We'll be introducing five advanced tips. A thrust tip, a scissor tip, a side tip, and then the two other tips will be thrown directly from uh, a kick attack or a block. Let's begin with the thrust tip. To throw the thrust tip technique, you first need to start by shifting your body weight to the rear leg. So the rear leg will now be loaded with your weight. From here we'll be pushing off that back leg at the same time that we lift our lead leg. Now with this forward momentum, we'll be thrusting towards our partner, landing on the floor with our post leg and on our partner with our attack leg. The idea will be to get a little bit of air as we launch forward towards our opponent. The timing of landing our teep on our opponent and our post leg on the ground should be simultaneous. It's easier to get the feel for the thrust teep by practicing with a partner. When throwing a thrust teep to a partner, the first thing you'll notice is that because you'll be covering distance, it will need to be thrown from a greater range over a regular teep. The thrust teep is very effective uh, when partners are on one leg so whether they're walking or throwing a, a leg strike. Complications that you may run into when throwing the thrust tape is chasing an opponent with this strike. As if they're moving back out of range, they're creating more range on the weapon you're trying to use. You're more likely to miss the thrust tape and leave yourself vulnerable to counter strikes. The thrust tape is quite a committed weapon as it is thrown from a bit of distance and can be easily seen. Therefore, timing and range are crucial in executing the thrust tape effectively. The thrust tape can also be thrown to the legs and face. 